Hey guys, Big Z Fitness here with you today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some footage of me doing snatch grip deadlifts. This is the very first time I've ever done them before. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get used to them. My coach gave me an insane program for going to be beginning Monday of next week. I honestly think I made him upset or something because I think he's trying to kill me. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... And part of the program is a little bit heavier uh, snatch grip deadlift. So I wanted to kind of see how they felt, um, kind of get my body used to them. Because uh, typically you guys don't want to go in too heavy on an new, absolute new exercise. That's how you're going to be hurting yourself. So I wanted to get some uh, high volume, low intensity work in, which my first two sets were. But as you guys are going to see in this clip, when I get up to 315, you know, each one of those big rubber plates, they look big and everything, but they're only 45 pounds. When I get up to 315, I can only do three reps, and it is not because my back is giving out. My back can get it up easy. It's actually my grip. Um, as a powerlifter, I've kind of adopted the over-underhand grip uh, way to deadlift, but with this, you know, the snatch grip pulls, you have to deadlift, you know, both overhand. So my left arm, left hand was giving me a whole bunch of trouble just trying to hang on the bar, I was hanging on for dear life. So, um, yeah, which I did have some straps and everything, but I did not want to use them. I just wanted to kind of improve my grip strength. And again, it's pretty good that it happened because if it didn't happen, I probably would have went up way too heavy. But, uh, yeah, so just to kind of strengthen out that arm, kind of work on form, keeping my back perfectly straight, trying to do that with every single set uh, with this training. Uh, remember guys, form is very, very important. You want to make sure that uh, you perfect your form before going up in heavier weight, which don't get me wrong, uh, when you get up in heavier weight, it is much, much harder to keep your form straight. As you can see when I was trying to deadlift at 540, uh, back rounded over quite a bit on that. It was the heaviest I've went at a competition. So just as long as you guys are not training at that, you know, at, you know, training with a rounded back every single workout session because if you guys end up doing that, that's how you're going to hurt yourself. It is from, you know, that repetitive, you're programming bad, bad muscle <laughs> movements throughout your body, bad motor patterns. So, yeah, so as you can see here, it forms pretty good, back's nice and straight, it's lighter weight. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, experimenting here. Which today, you know, that was, that, that was, uh, this is footage from yesterday. Today I'm feeling, you know, Totally fine. Uh, my hamstrings, hamstrings and uh, back are a little bit sore, but not too much. So, uh, yeah, it's, I felt pretty good with all these, all these lifts. So, except with this one. With this one, you guys are gonna see that at the uh, top of the third rep, I wasn't able to walk it out. Again, it is not because of my back. Uh, this was very, very easy weight for my back. It was my grip. I didn't take enough rest, so I wasn't able to uh, hang on to the bar. I'm going to see I get just shy of lockout, and then I got to hurry and put the weight down, because otherwise I would have been just dropping the weight. And that was done. I was like, yep. So it took about four or five minutes rest. Um, it said they'd do one more set, but I want to do this set um, for some chains. <laughs> so, and what chains help with, guys, is that they uh, the higher you go up, uh, the more the chain gets off the ground, so the heavier the weight gets. So it's a pretty good uh, training program or training uh, advanced training technique and felt pretty good with them. My grip was much, much better that I took that four or five minutes rest. And that is it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys liked the video, subscribe. And uh, as always, I will be seeing you guys in the next video.